Hello everyone. This is going to be a little guide here on how to uh, access alternate solo missions. So uh, first and foremost, uh, this uh, video will be released privately to AON members um, previous to being released to the public. And if you're interested in joining the guild, um, feel free to contact me um, and then perhaps we can play together and get to know um, who you are as a player and uh, see if you'd be a good fit for the guild. So, without further ado, you've logged in and you're interested in doing your daily solo mission. Why? Because it has great rewards. So you go over here and you say, I'm going to kill this damn bear. You go over here, you click this, this button and you get um, into the screen, you pick your troops, you go into there and you try to kill the bear and good luck. Um, but there are alternate missions and the reason why you'd like these alternate missions is because I sure as hell think they're easier. So I think that getting hard S's, S grade hard missions, um, will be def uh, will be easier, and you'll spend more uh, less time. So, and that might even be able to get you uh, to hell missions harder, which uh, gives you uh, a greater quantity of these boxes. But so I'm going to show you what is going on um, by switching over to uh, a cartoon. And here we have a, um, a circle. And what this circle represents is the... Oh, hi Jelly. Um, is this circle here. The circle in which your airship can be in before you see this button, all right? So moving back to the cartoon. I'm gonna show you what's going on. So, we have other other circles. Now imagine all of those were uh, circular and the center one is the bear. Right, And when you click the sign, you obviously go towards the center. So that's why when you uh, come over here, you only see the bear mission because it's in the center and it probably overlaps all the other ones. But there is a way to access the rest of them. And I'm going to show you how. All right, so moving over to the, to the game. I'm going to show you how to access the side missions. So instead of clicking this sign and moving to the center, what you want to do is you want to kind of click the edge here. And you kind of want to move a little bit so you're at the very edge. So you just barely see the sign. And as you can see, the map is different. And this one here, uh, let me move over to a screenshot, is the Desert Troll. And this one, uh, for those of you that have fought the Desert Troll, uh, is pretty easy. Um, there are ways to avoid his attacks and his attacks are pretty easy to read. So um, that might be one of the reasons why you pick this one. It might bring you to be able to do the hell version uh, much earlier than the bear mission. I would definitely think that's true. And also this one doesn't have uh, a stack, uh, an increasing stack of um, uh, a slowing effect that when it gets the five stacks it one shots you so the mechanics of this one are much different and there's only two ogres I haven't completed this one but um, that's much less than having these commander units these bears that knock you around so that's one reason why you pick this one and uh, I'll show you um, some more so that's unlike the um, if I had to describe it the south east of the circle and um, that was a bad voice crack let's see I'm gonna move over to the edge make sure it's like the absolute farthest I can be and here we have the I believe this one's the ogre so this is what that looks like and uh, as you can see there's those uh, I forgot what they're called forgot what they're called, but you have like a, um, a, a giant ogre and um, 
I don't believe the the flying creatures. I, I, their name just escapes me right now, but I don't believe they attack. You can hit them, but I don't. I, I haven't been hit by them, so um, I think it would just be fighting this ogre and. Um, its attacks hurt really well, and they're kind of hard to avoid, so I don't find myself doing this one. But just another example of an alternate solo mission. If you find it easier, if you have uh, troops that are strong against ogres, then yeah, pick this one. Alright, so let me show you another one. And uh, this one is on the southeast side. So let me try... I believe the north is just the bear. One of them is very hard to access. It took me a while to find it. Okay, yeah, that's the bear. Let me try the north. Oh, that's troll. That's bear. Once again. I think Troll is definitely the easiest one to access. I'll okay, th this one I think is the hardest. And this is the uh, Goblin Berserker. And you have two rows of Goblin Archers. So if you have something that, for example, Armor Maniacs, that condenses all those um, Archers and allows you to sweep them up really quickly, this might be very, very easy for you, all right? So uh, I think I'll f I find myself doing this one also. So it's, a, it's, a, it's about a tie between the Desert Troll and the Goblin Berserker. And this one is, let's find out what direction it is. It's good to keep an eye out for this stuff. Uh, looks like I'm directly south of it. So it's like the southeast, or uh, sorry, the southwest is um troll the southeast is the ogre and it looks like south is the uh, goblin berserker so i'm thinking the last one is probably to maybe the northeast maybe east yep here it is and it is to the east um, and this one is Baphomet. And I don't believe there's any other troops. Um, I have actually never killed Baphomet um, uh, like out in the fields. Um, but his attacks seem pretty easy to avoid. And uh, if you have things that hit single target strong and uh, are very hard, for example, like Musketeers, this might be very easy for you to do on a hell. Um, all these screenshots are from regular, so I don't believe more troops show up on harder difficulties, but from my understanding, they don't. So, um, that pretty much sums it up, and uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this uh, guide helps you out. And once again, if you're interested in a uh, joining AON, please contact me in-game. My game name is Macro, and um, enjoy!